What's up, my people? Welcome to your Push and Pull Tuesday. We got some work to get in, so let's go right into it. We're still doing our German volume training for those that are doing our strength. And then, yeah, we're gonna get real spicy for the hit version. So we're on another week, starting heavier than you did last week, right? So again, putting that back on the bench. Shoulders pinch back, tight stomach, feet are flat on the ground. Um, even if you have to get some bumper plates, elbows are always tucked in with that big deep bra. Tight stomach, whew, locking out. Again, we're looking for 10 reps, and you will do that a total of six times. Remembering that every time you complete that, you're a rest for the remainder of the two minutes and 15 seconds. If you're gonna be rocking the hit version, in your two minutes and 15 seconds, you're gonna start with a 30 second hand plank. So palms are directly under your chest, shoulders, which is really, really important as that weight is being controlled by your core. Once that 30 seconds finish, you're gonna go down to a plank walk, putting those forearms on the ground, coming up with that left hand, going back down, and then coming back up on the opposite side. What's optional, you wanna hit the chest. When you do come up from that plank walk, you're gonna add that push up in. You're gonna be doing a total of 12 reps in two minutes, 15 seconds. So 30 seconds with a total of 12 reps, which will be six on each side. Again, we're gonna repeat this until we get to a total of six rounds. And then we're gonna go into our conditioning. With our conditioning, we're gonna need a heavy dumbbell and also a weight that you can control with the kettlebell with our former carry walks. So let's talk about the couple of movements that we're gonna do in our conditioning. Movement number one that we're gonna have is the uneven former carry. The kettlebell is gonna be above your head, the dumbbell is gonna be below your waist. Literally, you're gonna walk down uh, 100 feet and then you gotta come back 100 feet, not meters, but feet. All right, so make sure when you get to the 100 uh, feet mark, you're gonna switch. Second movement we're gonna do is gonna be those pause and push-ups at the bottom. And the third and final movement is just gonna be some pull-ups. So with your movement, again, as you get that kettlebell, you're getting that front rack position, push press it, we're locked out. Notice my dumbbells hanging to the side. I will walk 100 feet. Once I get to where I'm going, I will then recover by switching sides bring it to the opposite side so we can't just be one sexy side right making sure that we control it as well when we do our walk so that'll be the first movement second movement we're going to the push-up but on this push-up one second hold at the bottom you're doing a total of 10 reps elbows are tucked in tight stomach thousand one power up back down thousand one of course same thing can be done with your knees keeping those elbows tucked in holding that second before you hit the ground and then power up. So we're not gonna actually fall to the ground. Then the last one's gonna be your chin ups, right? Keeping that um, body weight control, right? If you're doing pull ups so far, we'll do a total, I believe, of 10 reps. I don't have my bar up here. Hold on. Forgot to put that up there. I might need that. Let's see if I can do this on camera without looking like an idiot. All right. Hold on, hold on, I'm gonna do this safe. Hold on, I gotta be safe. Okay, I'm not gonna be safe. But <laughs> your chin-ups will be here, shoulders pinch back, tight stomach, controlling that body weight up, and then going down, you'll do a total of 10. Of course, if you're not there yet, you can do an inverted row or ring rows, and if you don't know that, your trainer definitely can show you how that looks, okay? So, 100 feet, 10 push-ups with a second pause at the bottom, and then chin-ups, unless you're doing ring rows or inverted rows. You're gonna repeat that AMRAP for a total of 15 time, or 15 minutes, excuse me, 15 minutes. Other than that, that's your push and pull Tuesdays. Selfie it, tag us, we'll see you tomorrow.